Oh, what is that word? Hello, most of you have played the Wordle game. It's actually quite simple. You get six guesses to work out what the word is. Along the way, it will give you clues. A grey letter means it isn't present in the word. A yellow means it's there, but not in that position. And a green one means it's in the correct position. So let's learn how to make that in Amos. So the first thing we need is a word list. I've gathered this one from the web and it contains over 13,000 words and I've sorted them alphabetically and I've also removed all the rude ones. Hey, out of the way! Now we need to get some of that into Amos. I'll start by writing a small program to import the text file and store it in a more optimised form. In this case, an Amos memory bank. We'll start by opening the text file. Each word is five characters long, six including the carriage return, and we know the length of the file, so we can easily work out the total number of words. Next, we'll reserve some memory to store them. We don't need any separators, so five bytes per word is perfect. Next, we'll ask Amos for the location where this memory bank starts, and start reading the lines from the file. We'll use the poke dollar command to write a string to memory, and then advance five bytes. Finally, we'll save this out. So let's run that. Ooh, this is a bit slow, so let's skip to the end. It's a good job we only need to do that once. So let's start making the game. The first thing we're going to need to do is pick a random word and then check if it's a valid one. So first thing, load the words, then we pick a random word by seeing how many there are, picking a random one and then reading it from the memory bank. To search for the word, we're going to start at the beginning and work our way through the entire list. Let's see that. Ooh, this is slow. You see, suppose we had a list of 20 items. At worst case, we'd have to check the majority of the list to find out if the word exists. But we need a better algorithm. We'll go with a binary search, which works like this. We start by finding the middle point, or pivot, and compare it with the word. If it matches, then congratulations. If not, then if alphabetically it's less, you discard everything after, and if it's greater, you discard everything before. Then you keep repeating this until you find the word, or you run out of items. So in Amos, we loop until we run out of words, we find the middle point, and check the word at that point. If it didn't match, we adjust the first and last positions and repeat. Let's see that in action. Much faster. So let's get on with the game by creating the area where the guesses are shown. I've set up a screen with this colour palette. We'll start by setting up some variables to hold the six guesses, and set up an example for testing. Then, in a render grid function, we'll loop through all six possible attempts and then examine each character in turn. Mid dollar will extract a single character from our guess, or if we haven't guessed that character yet, it will return an empty string. If this row is one that we haven't submitted yet, then we'll make the background for this box white. If we've typed a character, we'll make the box around it a little darker. Then we'll set the font colour and background colour, which is drawn later. Now the opposite. If this is a submitted guess, if the character matches the correct one, then we'll set the colour to green. If the character exists in the word somewhere, then we'll set it to yellow. Else, we'll set it to grey. Then finally we'll render the letter. Fairly straightforward. So let's see that running our test word, apple. We can already see the grid is highlighting as you'd expect, and we'll test a few other combinations too. Next, we need to show a keyboard on screen. Not only for input, but also to show hints as to what you've guessed so far. The keyboard must also follow the same colour rules too. So firstly, to make things easier, I'm creating arrays to hold the position, size and character of each key on the screen. I've then created a list of all the keys on the keyboard in order, and we'll start by setting up each row, one letter at a time. I've also set up mouse zones around each key too. Two special keys, Enter and Delete, need to be manually set up. They're different size to the rest. Now the code to draw the keyboard. We start by making a string that includes all the current guesses so far. This helps reduce some of the loops we may need to do later. Then, for each key, we look to see if it's been guessed once already. If it has, then we look to see if it appears somewhere in the current word. And if it has, we set the background colour to yellow. We then check each guess to see if it was put in the correct place. And if it is, we override the colour and change it to green. If the character doesn't appear in a word, we set the colour to grey. Then we simply draw each key on screen. Finally, we draw the two special keys, the enter key and the backspace key. So let's take a look at that. Looks great. Now onto the final part, actually making the game work. But before that, if you got this far, then consider hitting the like button and subscribing. And why not hit that notification bell too while you're at it. Let's get on with the game. We're going to want to keep the game running. So a simple loop where we reset the game and run it is required. For preparing the game, we reset the guess counter, pick a new random word and clear out all the old guesses. For the actual game, we render the blank guesses grid and keyboard to screen. 
I want you to be able to click on the letter as well as type on the keyboard. So first we'll see if a suitable key is pressed, and if not, we'll check to see if the mouse is pressed, and if it was over one of the keyboard zones. If so, our variable K$ gets set to the character for that key. If not, we keep looping until it is. Then we wait for the mouse and keyboard key to be released. If enter was pressed, we check the length of the current guess, and if it's five letters long, we look it up and see if it's an actual word we recognise. If it is, then we check to see if it's actually the correct answer. And if it is correct, we'll show an appropriate message. However, if the guess is incorrect, we'll skip to the next guess. Now, if the backspace or delete key was pressed, we'll shorten the current guess by one character. And if any other key was pressed and we haven't typed five letters yet, we'll add it to the current guess. Then we redraw the grid and the keyboard and show any messages. And if we haven't guessed the correct word and still have guesses left, then we'll keep repeating this process. At the end, if you didn't manage to guess the word, we'll show you what it was. Easy, right? So let's try it out. Start by guessing the word apple. If the L is correct, let's try loots. I know, a poor choice as the L will be wrong anyway. But two O's and S's are correct. Just need to get the first letter correct. And I pity the fool that can't guess this one. Let's try another. Yeah, okay, it looks like I'm really good at this, but I've hidden a cheat in this game which I've edited out for this video. See if you can find it in the source code. Simple game, right? The source code is available in the video description down below. Now it's up to you to improve the game, maybe by adding some animations or sound effects, maybe even a timer. If you want to learn some more Amos, then I have a four part series creating another game which you can watch. If you enjoyed this video, then how about supporting me on Patreon? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.